Welcome back to A Channel Morning. Well, can you become acne free in three days? The author of that book joins us now. Chris Gibson, nice to meet you and thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Is it true? Acne free in um, three days? For me, it was true. Mm -hmm. It's uh, The book is uh, on my story of what I went through to clear my acne. Um, I had tried a lot of of things through dermatology. I have a dermatologist uh, that I used that, that put me on Accutane and the antibiotics and I went through that in my teens into my 20s mm -hmm. and I didn't have a lot of success with that. So um, someone put me on to an herbalist uh, in Texas. Actually I traveled there, went to an herbalist. Uh, that helped a little bit and then she kind of worked with me and showed me some things I could do with my diet, some ways and handle my skin, mm -hmm. you know, different products I could use that were all natural and the acne abated and hasn't come back in mm -hmm. like 20 years now. So. so it worked, you're a believer, yeah. and now you're spreading the Absolutely. word. Absolutely. Okay. Just uh, before we talk about what you're going to do and the, and the steps that are involved with it, you do want to say that Absolutely, you should consult yeah. your physician Right. First. I was with a dermatologist yeah. as well, and yeah. he, he was aware of the things I was trying and mm -hmm. backed me up on those as well. And I talk about that in the book. He actually, some of the things I'm going to talk about today, mm -hmm. he taught me. So. Okay. Um, you know, absolutely, you should always check with a doctor before you do anything right. that's uh, holistic. Okay, so step one. Step one is what I recommend for people to do, and this I learned from the dermatologist, is steaming daily. Um, one thing you have to do is open the pores, make sure that, you know, the oil drains out properly. Mm -hmm. It's especially important for women who wear a lot of makeup because yes. a lot of the cleansers leave residue. Tell me about so it. So <laughs> the trick to steaming, though, however, is to use uh, hot water, not boiling, obviously, mm -hmm and to soak the rag in it and get the rag very warm and then what you want to do is hold the rag to your face for about five minutes until it's cool and you need to do that for a period of twenty minutes minimum twenty it minutes. takes twenty minutes for all of the pores to actually open on your skin i mean okay. the first area the nose and the oilier areas will open yeah. first but to get your cheeks and the sides of your face where people have a lot of problems especially men mm -hmm. who shave twenty minutes Okay. So I didn't know that. I was one of those, you know, real yeah, fast. Three and done, and I'm three done. And I'm out yeah. of here. Okay, so um, 20 minutes. you got to set aside that time. Right. The okay. other thing is that you want to use a glycerin soap, which is a, a glycerin or sorbitol soap, which mm -hmm. Neutrogena makes these. You'll see them in the store. They're usually clear. Mm -hmm. uh, they're usually amber colored. Or, you know, if you go to Bath and Body, they sell them. And they, they're so you scented. want a, a glycerin a soap? A very clear glycerin soap. Okay. And the reason for that is what I noticed when I was using different products is that it would never get the oil to break down on my face. Mm -hmm. After I'd wash, I could still feel an oily residue. This cuts oil it does completely. It. Okay. So once you use that, you're like squeaky clean. You can tell that it really works. Um, another thing that uh, the dermatologist actually recommended to me was tea tree oil for mm -hmm. breakouts. I've it's heard that a, is very good for breakouts. It's extremely yeah. fast healing. Yeah. I, it's, it's amazing. It's an antiseptic. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from a tree in Australia, mm -hmm. and uh, it's widely available. You can find it really easily. And I love in the herbs smell store. of it too. It smells really good. <laughs> the thing you don't want to get it in your eyes it's or in true. your mouth. It doesn't taste very well. <laughs> but you put it on a on a, a breakout or a, a bump, and it will help clear it up very quickly. Yeah, you'd be surprised how quick um, it works. Uh, the other thing that that he uh, recommended I use was castor oil, castor which oil. I used it as an emollient before steaming. I uh -huh. had cystic acne, the deep, the heavy cyst. Okay. So this actually mixes in with the oil on the skin and helps pull it out. So because it, it seems rather odd that you're putting on oil to get to the get oil, oil off. Out. Right. Absolutely. Okay. But it's a very thick. The viscosity is very thick of it, and uh, it's. It doesn't have a smell or a taste. You don't want to eat it. It used to be a lax. Yeah, yeah. It's probably not a good idea to eat it. <laughs> Stay away from that. <laughs> but, so uh, do, you, do you use it like a soap? Though? Yeah, you just rub it on your face and okay. you steam it. So for people that have the deeper cystic acne like I mm -hmm. did, that's very helpful. Okay. Um, one of the biggest questions that I get asked is the scarring. Mm -hmm. um, and I had some acne scarring and, you know, I tried some of the dermabrasion. I didn't like Everything, that. I did probably, the, the dermatology yeah. peels, the mm -hmm. TCA chemical peels. I found a peel that's out of the UK. It's available here in Canada and okay. in the US by Skin Culture. Mm -hmm. And I had great results with it. I've been using it for about five years, and mm -hmm. you can see my skin's really clear and it, it helps exfoliate, which I talk about in the book. It's extremely important right. to exfoliate your skin. And then I guess the other big question is how in the three days did I get the acne to clear up? Was uh, I went on a fast. Mm -hmm. I actually went on a, a fruit fast that the herbalist put me on, and that was the big key thing for me was the dietary change. What happened was I wasn't eating any of the things I normally ate that reacted with my skin, mm -hmm. which helped calm it down very well. So I actually still do what I talk about in the book 
about once or Regularly? twice a year. Yes. And again, you want to consult with a doctor before you do any kind of a fast. But okay. that is how I actually cleared mine up. And, and, you know, I mean, I was on Accutane, which is a very powerful drug. Very. Um, I had to go for the blood test every, you know, three weeks to make mm -hmm. sure that the lipids were right. Uh, it cleared for about maybe three months. I was so excited, you know, I was like, I bet. but then it came back worse. Mm -hmm. So I was just devastated, and that's what really sparked me to try to find these alternative ways. Okay, where is the book available, Acne Free um, in Three Days? It can be ordered in bookstores, special order. It's okay. also available online at acnefreein3days.com. Okay. Uh, and then there's a 1-800 number on the website where you can order the book, actually. So it's widely available. We sell it the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. So. Okay, Chris, you've probably provided some good ideas for folks who are, are suffering from acne. And uh, if they give it a go, I'm sure you probably have a way to get in touch with you to say, hey, yes, for, actually, for me. I actually, yeah. I actually do still take email mm -hmm. uh, and work with clients one-on-one -on -one as they buy the book. And, and we've had a lot of success with it. Good. So, nice to meet you. Thanks um, for coming thanks in Thanks for having morning. me on. Appreciate it. It's great. Stay with A Channel Morning. We'll be back right after this.